peep, 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 peep. Ke pa sa sa pa se what they do. Now, people, the first thing that is popping in the news, it is called the copycat syndrome, the insanity, it continues. Because we saw that on Monday, a youth was missed. I am speaking about a 26-year-old man, and his name is Jerome Foster, only to find out or find him on Tuesday, where he was basically limb limb up by his family member. I am speaking about his brother. We are speaking about Jabby. And people, this incident took place in a place called Tankley and Orakabesa, St. Mary, to be specific. Now, people, fast forward 24 hours later, and we are speaking about in St. Kachin. I am speaking about in Browns Hall. I am speaking about specifically at St. Faith's District in a Browns Hall, St. Kachin. People, it is said that a 19-year-old youth also joke up him father, and the father did not make it. Now, people, based on the popo information, it is said that 19-year-old son, Romeo Queensborough, joke up him father, and the father's name is Roderick. Queensborough and it is said that this is all over some sort of dispute that occurred and occurred on Sunday evening, Sunday afternoon, we are speaking about at the house and people, it is said that the father was taken to the place of recovery, however, too late was the call and it is said that after the son turned over himself to the popo and he was charged for the slap away of his father. Now people, when you think about stuff like this and we think about how Jamaica is and we think about how Jamaica had some sort of strong family ties. And we think about the fact that back in other days, you would not see stuff like this because Pitney, they respected their father. Likewise, vice versa. Some people may just say, I don't know what is going on in Jamaica lately because it seems as if a lot of these youth, they have some sort of genes or chromosome for the devil or some sort of evil gene or there's some sort of evil spell all over Jamaica. But lately, we see that Jamaica has been getting crazy. It seems as if everybody flipped them lid. Now, people, don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. When we think about the average family structure, we see that the father is supposed to be the head of the household. However, people, in some cases, it seems as if some of these fathers are worthless. It seems as if some of these fathers are A, B, U, S, I, V, E, and people. I am not saying that is so in this case, me just I say. Sometimes one never knows what happens or what triggers or what is the motivating factor whenever we see something like this happen. However, what we do know is the fact that if this home was not dysfunctional that would not have happened so people may just I say once you lay down the rules once your son respect you once your daughter respect you more than likely the possibility or the probabilities are you won't have any sorts of occurrence like this however in a home where there's all sorts of turmoil people any and everything is going to happen and people i am not justifying the actions of the son in this case me just as say we never know however what we do know is that a son is supposed to respect his father what we do know is that a son or any sort of family member should not want to take out a next family member more than likely they should always fight for that family member because what them say blood is thicker than water and people in this case we see say, the son met the father b l o o d run point blank and period and people isn't it kind of ironic that a lot of unholy stuff are happening in a lot of places in jamaica with all sorts of holy name because people in this case we see so this place named saint faith's district we are speaking about in a browns hall however people even upon a sunday which is supposed to be god's day we see so son a take with them father so people it only shows you the way that jamaica has changed and people it seems as if all the moral fibers all the ethics in a jamaica is gone and it is now a devil's playground point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up now before i move to the next part of my video please subscribe to my next channel jamaica dancehall source and i'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video and people i have started posting videos on that channel and i am going to be doing all sorts of breaking news on that channel so people it is very important that you subscribe it is that important that you go over there and you make sure so you check out the videos because i'll be posting videos on both channels starting from about a day or two ago so people please check it out and also 
also subscribe to this channel and when you subscribe please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option now people the next thing that is popping in the news is an update about an incident that took place in a place called Tanklin. we are speaking about Arakabesa we are talking about St. Mary in which a son a brother 26 year old Jerome Foster he was taken out by his brother and the brother's name is Jabby now people when I did that video I told you that they were looking for the brother Jabby and that Jabby basically take away himself after him limb limb up in brother him take away himself and was in some sort of bushes and I also let you hear or I spoke about the people in the residents in another era said that they want to give him some sort of gene and tars and justice and people you know exactly what that means so people we saw that on Monday according to the details it is said that this youth was missing Jerome was missing on Monday and the sister went and filed some sort of report at the Popo station and then them find the body in a all sorts of crocus bag, rete, lele, blue, blah, blah. Fast forward 24 hours after, they found the brother and the brother was also, we are talking about him, the whole time stomach bust out. So people, more than likely he did not take his own life, more than likely he got the type of justice that the family members are sorry that the residents in the era was demanding. So people, when we look at what is going on in Jamaica, back to back to back, we say say brother take her brother. And in the other case, the video that I just spoke about or the title that I just talked about, the topic that I just spoke about, we are talking about son take with them father. So people, we say that Jamaica has now become a very dysfunctional place as it pertains to family. And people, what is so disturbing about these two stories that I covered today? When we talk about places like Browns Hall, Faith's District, when we talk about places like Tanklin, we are speaking about places that used to be tranquil. We are speaking about places that did not have any sort of crime. It was basically a decent place. However, people, we say that things turn up. We say that things have changed for the Wasara. And people, based on statistics from the Popo in a St. Mary, it is said that for 2020, there were 30 we are talking about slap away in a St. Mary and people out of those 30 we are speaking about 21 that had something to do with some sort of family dispute or we are talking about 12 of them were family dispute and also the next nine we are speaking about some petty dispute over all sorts of conflict for land we are speaking about petty stuff so people it only shows you that the mentality it only shows you that the moral fiber of Jamaica has been erased and people it is getting to the depths of hell we are speaking about inner the abyss of hell point blank and period and people what is also disturbing as it pertains to the case of jerome forrester and his brother jabby is the fact that the sister and the mother were also implicated so therefore they were covering her for the brother after he took away his brother's life so people it only shows you what is going on in jamaica it is not very good and jamaica needs some sort of divine intervention point blank and period so anyways people that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that and like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section bless up